Mike Emanuel, thank you very, very much for that. Uh, well, you know things are getting a little bit dicey for Democrats uh, when no less than Bill Maher comes out this past weekend with a warning. Take a look. And went on to say, don't dismiss him out of hand. Uh, Ethan Behrman, uh, I guess slightly to the left commentator, uh, radio host. Ethan, good to have you back. What do you make no, of what great to see. Bill Maher was saying? Uh, don't underestimate this guy. Uh, and for that matter, don't underestimate uh, the high likelihood that Republicans pounce not only next year in the midterms, uh, but conceivably win back the White House. What do you think? Well, I think he was sending a strong message, and it was really an, an alarm to the Democratic base, which is that we have to stand up for voting rights. And this is actually an alert to Congress that all these states that are undermining election law and disenfranchising voters needs to be handled at the federal level. That was part of the reason the Democrats elected these people to Washington, including President Biden. And that's an, an, it's an alarm letting people know we need to get these things done. All right. Well, your view of disenfranchising is really in the eye of the beholder. I will raise this with you, though, the notion that Donald Trump is, is all but running right now uh, for the presidency. And given Joe Biden's anemic poll numbers, um, uh, he's in a whole lot of trouble. Isn't that the bigger concern among Democrats? Not just that the, the, the president could lose, but he could lose to the guy he beat. I know, I'm not sure that that's the concern to Democrats. It's, it's way too early for that. We have to stay focused on the midterms, and the way we win the midterms is to actually get our party to pull together, find compromise amongst the different groups, because we are a very big, broad tent. But you've and lost a lot of independence, right, Ethan? I mean, that's the battle, and that's the, you know, that the support has been cut in half for Joe Biden. And you're quite right to say history shows that, you know, it's very, very early. Things could happen. At this point in his presidency, Ronald Reagan was looking increasingly like a one-termer. We know how that worked out. But the point is that the Democrats do appear to be in trouble. How can they correct that? Yeah, and again, the most important thing is to pass these key pieces of legislation, the infrastructure bill, some some compromise on the Build Back Better agenda, whatever that ends up looking like, but it needs to be done and it needs to be passed. So you don't have any fear that it could be add to the inflationary pressures and actually boomerang on Democrats, that be careful what you wish for. Some of your more moderate members, Ethan, are afraid of just that, that it's going to hurt them in the midterms. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that this type of legislation hurts the Democrats. I think the inflation, by the way, is an important topic. And it's an important topic because it's not just based on what Democrats are doing now. This is a rebound out of a pandemic that was mishandled by our government. So we look at the global supply chain. You know, I've worked with some of those companies, Neil, especially during the pandemic. And the global supply chain has been severely disrupted, which is putting a lot of that pressure on inflation and then the energy prices. Look, if we actually address what needs to happen with energy production in this country in an aggressive fashion, and those oil prices become less and less meaningful if we're able to produce more of our own energy from alternate sources. Yeah, but we were producing a good deal of it with our own sources. And I could be, uh, you know, absolutely all in on all these other energy alternatives. Do you think in retrospect, the, the president abandoning the colonial pipeline and fossil fuels in general at just that moment uh, compounded our problems? We're all but begging OPEC and OPEC plus countries to produce the oil that we're not. Yeah, um, so I agree with you, and it's because we need to pass more legislation. We need to stop with an exclusive focus on solar and wind. We have almost unlimited geothermal energy potential in the United States. It's endless. So it's clean. Go ahead and explore space. all of them. You would subscribe to that, yes. right? Okay. Real Absol quickly, I'm then, all in. Real yes. quickly, this is more a personal question, but the fear that the president maybe is losing his fastball, that he's appearing old, that he's appearing out of it. Now, the closer I get to that kind of age, the less critical I am of that behavior. But having said it, are you worried about that? The president's performance at press conferences, speeches where he stumbles, that that that, that age is showing here, and f some of your fellow Democrats are worried. I'm not sure if I'm worried about it. I mean, look, any time the president isn't a per giving a perfect performance, obviously it's easy to jump on that. However, the key here is really what's happening behind the scenes. Right. And again, if, if he can come through with the legislation, is the key. Got it. We shall see. Ethan, I have more to ask you, but I forgot.